the drama between Somizi and a city press journalist is too hot for me not to report. Hi gang, welcome to the channel. Please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you didn't know, after this video, you will walk out of here knowing that Somizi has a rape case where he was found guilty. A city press journalist texted Somizi to inquire if the divorce is indeed on the cards between him and his husband Mohali. And Somizi responded by asking his followers on Instagram to harass the journalist so she can understand what invasion of privacy is. Guys, it got serious when the South African National Editors Forum issued a statement calling Somizi to apologize on all his social media platforms. And they also urged the journalist to lay charges of intimidation against Somizi. Guys, Somizi responded with an eight-minute clip on Instagram stating that he will not be bullied into apologizing, even if it means him losing his brand and his job. So, this journalist wrote something about me and my husband and my marriage and stuff like that and i was like after i read the story i decided to retaliate and um make the journalist also feel what it feels like um, to have your privacy invaded and I posted the same message that she sent me on my social media. And I posted it with her numbers, right? And since then, like journalists and editors and the media is like saying, yeah, so easy, uh, there has to be actions taken against him and so forth and so on. And some of my close friends are saying, no, apologize, and don't do And they even went to a point where they even tag um, companies that I work with. The radio station, Metro FM, uh, DSTV, Zansi Magic, to say action must be taken. Now, my issue is that you attack me, you attack my personal, personal space. <clears throat> but then when I serve you back what you have dished out, you now play victim. Um, it's wrong what you're doing and so forth and so on. Being out there. But I have a problem when things that are not factual are written about me and the people close to me. She wrote a story that my marriage is on the rocks that my husband, I found out, she says, I found out that my husband cheated on me with a married man with kids and I'm protecting this man. I have no idea what she's talking about. That for me is an issue. So it means it's okay for somebody, just because they've got sources, to go ahead. After I've even told you, get your facts correct, find proof, find an SMS, pictures, whatever. As long as you've got facts, I'm okay with it, right? I'm in show business, I'm in, the, I'm in the public, I'm a public figure, I'm okay with that. But I have a problem when journalists think they can just write about anything and everything, even when it's not factual. And again, I am not apologizing for what I did. The only thing that I know that I did wrong was to post her private number. But even that, I did it deliberately so that for me, it was, I was angry and it was a way of making her feel what it feels like to have your private space invaded. So I know a lot of personalities can relate to this. But again, it's sad that we have to be doormats just because we're in the public space, it means we have to take anything and everything that anyone can dish to us. No, it does not work like that. I get to a point where I know when to stand up and fight for myself and for what I believe in. So if you think that you can go to people that I work with and having them to take actions and fire me, and if for me to avoid that, I have to apologize. I am not going to do that. Ngamane, you're telling me that I'm a queen. Ngamane, 
Mkale Pansi than for me to apologize bullied by the media. I've seen them doing it to so many people that it has such a very devastating effect on them. They end up wallowing, um, drinking themselves to death, crying themselves to de death, dragging themselves to death because the media has a personal attack. And also, the, the, what the masses don't know is that some of the journalists, if not most of them, have a personal agenda on personalities. They want to see you down. If this thing, if the journalists were so angry and they wanted action to be taken against me, they were supposed to go to take, they were supposed to take the legal route without tagging the people that I work with or I work for. But the minute you tag the people that I work with and work for, it means you want me to go down and it is fine. If you think me being fired or me being dismissed or, or suspended is going to bring me down, you got it wrong. I was so measy before everything else. And I will always be so measy after everything else. Don't think that um, uh, being on TV and, and getting all these uh, accolades and so forth and so on makes me who I am. I know who I am. I am Sumizi Buyani Mshongo, the son of Mary and Ndaba Mshongo before everything else. I would rather die standing than live on my knees. And I hope I speak for a lot of people who have succumbed to selling their souls or to have succumbed to, to, to begging for bread in order for them to live longer and allow to be bullied and allow for anyone to invade their personal Well, spaces. you heard it yourself. And we also had known personalities who defended Somizi's actions, and that was the Piwe Dana, Anele, and Penili Joanna. Well, that was not all the drama that took place, honey. All of a sudden, Somizi's rape case out of the bloom, you guys, where he was found guilty back in 2008 just came back to the spotlight <laughs> and it seems like my 2k didn't know about this i'm wondering if somizi's husband knows about this rape case i am thinking about it does he even know anyhow we are not here for that after somizi was found guilty work stopped coming in and nobody wanted to work with him and he started losing his friends we all remember when somizi lost it all and it was due to this case somizi struggled and he has seen it all he also explained it in his book if you didn't know somizi struggled until lira gave him a break that he needed and he the big break that he got given a chance by Lyra landed him a gig at the 2010 World Cup choreography gig. And that's when he started being the center stage again after struggling for so long and nobody wanting to work with him. And that's it for today's video. Please do subscribe.